So, in the previous class, we have learnt about Kepler's law of planetary motion. We have seen two, three problems. Now, we will extend our problems here. So, let us start with a problem in which this is a orbit of a this is a circle and we have a point mass here which goes along this circular path and the force in this for this universe. So, this orbit of this mass m is circular and this universe is not not obeying not obeying inverse square law inverse square law that means I do not know the law of force here and the attracting thing that is the force is always directed towards towards this point. So, this is a central field in which every time the force is towards this point. So, center of this is called center of attraction. So, what is given that this point is the center of attraction and this is not obeying inverse square law means the force law may be different. We have to discover, discover the force law, force law for this object which moves which moves in the circular orbit shown orbit shown. So, this planet this moves in this orbit like this with the center of attraction as here. So, we have to discover what is the force law that how force is proportional to r to the power n. So, this n has to be discovered. This we are going to do this. So, now let us solve it. Suppose this is the circular orbit, we will take a general point here. This is the general point. So, when the planet is here, then you see this is the velocity vector. This is the velocity vector and at this place we have v and this is r suppose this angle is theta. So, this total this is the diameter. So, this will be 2 r from here to here. So, now let l be the angular momentum of the system about this point o. So, let the angular momentum angular momentum of the planet of the planet about O is L. So, we have L is m v angular momentum of this point mass m is v into this perpendicular distance. If I drop a perpendicular up to here, then this distance in order to know this distance, let us join these two points. So, you see this is the velocity vector tangent to this tangent this velocity vector is tangent to this circle here. So, you see this angle is equal to this angle alternate segment theorem and this angle is equal to this angle. So, this is theta this is theta this is 90 minus theta so this is 90 minus theta. So, this angle becomes theta. So, if this is r we will get this h r cos theta. So, we have angular momentum about O is mass times velocity into perpendicular distance that is m r cos theta. So, now we got this angular momentum and you see we can also see from geometry that this r is equal to 